It's time for To Your Health. Joining me today is Dr. Lorraine Maida, a functional and integrative medicine physician who practices anti-aging medicine, executive health, hormone replacement therapy, and weight management. She's the author of Vibrance for Life, How to Live Younger and Healthier. She's here today to discuss allergy prevention and treatment. Welcome, Dr. Maida. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Joan. Dr. Maida, so many people suffer from allergies, and the medications that they take can make them dry or even drowsy. So do you have any supplements that you recommend that can help? Absolutely. But first and foremost, you have to avoid what you're allergic to. Vitamin C with bioflavonoids is always very helpful. And I use formulations of a combination of nutrients that really help to dampen the allergic response. And the three top ingredients are quercetin, stinging nettles, and bromelain. Quercetin is a very important flavonoid because it stabilizes mast cells. Those are the cells that release histamine, and histamine is what causes the allergic response. Stinging nettles also stabilizes mast cells and it balances the immune system as well. It works very well in the nasal passages and airways. Even though you take it orally, it seems to have a very positive effect in the nasal passages and the airways. And bromelain is commonly used for digestion. It's an enzyme from pineapple, but it's anti-inflammatory. It not only enhances the absorption of quercetin, it decreases the immune complex and improves comfort because allergies are caused by an over-response in the immune system. So anything that you take that balances it will really help. And these combination products are great. Does diet play a role in allergies? Absolutely. If you have a diet that causes inflammation, an inflammatory diet that's high in sugar, meat, dairy, and grains, This can make for more mucus, more allergic responses, and inflammation. All of the allergies will get worse. So having more anti-inflammatory foods are very helpful to calm the immune system. I call these foods fats that flow because they're anything that can be made into an oil. Fish, olives, avocado, nuts, seeds, and any of their oils calm the immune system down. And oxidation makes inflammation worse. So plenty of antioxidant fruits and vegetables in every color of the rainbow is really extraordinary in decreasing allergic symptoms because they, they're they full of nutrients and antioxidants and calm the immune system down. What about lifestyle? Does that play a role? Yes, it does. Lifestyle plays a big role in modulating the immune system. There's a direct connection between the immune system and the stress response. So managing your stress can dampen the immune response and and having big stressors can augment it so that makes you much more reactive and allergic. So I tell people, do the best you can. I mean, we live in a stressful environment. Try to reduce your stress by getting enough sleep, avoiding stimulants such as too much alcohol or caffeine that increase physiologic stress and decrease your physiologic stress with deep breathing. People can do this deep breathing anytime, anywhere. You can reframe situations because we can't change the stressors, but we can change our reaction to them and try to avoid people that set you off. But the most important, avoid your allergens. Sometimes you need to use an air filter or stay indoors when pollen and ragweed are bad. So I just want to leave people with the fact that there's so much that you can do to prevent or relieve the allergic responses. And getting expert advice from somebody who knows functional medicine and is aware of all the environmental and lifestyle factors can really play a big role in helping you reach your healthcare goals. Dr. Maida, thank you so much for being here with us. If you would like to learn more about this topic or about Dr. Maida and her work, you can visit her website, howtoliveyounger.com. And as always, to hear more from Dr. Maida, you can visit our website, cyacyl.com backslash Lorraine. We'll be right back. 